Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is Ashley and I'm so excited to be back with another video. I want to share content with you guys that just simply relates to me walking deeper in my purpose with the hope of inspiring others to do the same. And today I'm talking about how me and my husband decided to go to the courthouse and have our wedding later. I decided to film this video because when I was at the place of trying to figure out what to do, there was literally no content out there about it. So I wanted to record the video for that reason. And I know that there's so many people who have to postpone their weddings right now because of this pandemic and everything that's going on. So I know that there could be someone who could use this information. All right, so let's get into the video now. All right, so I wanna give you guys just a little bit of background first to make everything else in the story make sense to you. So me and my husband met um, in college at North Carolina a and State University. Well, we actually met on Instagram, to be completely honest. We just went to the same school, so sometimes I wrap it up in there to make it a prettier um, <laughs> explanation, but the truth is that we met on Instagram. So with that being said, we met and we dated for a whole year with him being um, in the same city as me. And then he moved to California, I'm in North Carolina. So just wanted to preface this with saying that we dated long distance for about three years. And that fourth year of our relationship was when he proposed. So it was such an exciting time. He was in Georgia at this time in his PhD program and I was in North Carolina working full time. So we were still long distance and we got engaged and we were thinking uh okay what does this mean when could we possibly have the wedding what could that look like for us we also had to keep in mind that he was in his phd program meaning he only had winter breaks and summer breaks off so we had to kind of maneuver around that the best way that we could okay so we had the idea of possibly entertaining um having the wedding later and getting married sooner because we just felt led and felt like God was wanting us to get married very quick. So I, at this time, I'm still living in North Carolina. He's living in Georgia. And like I was mentioning, I am working full time. So I knew that I would be the one that would make the shift and it would just be an easier move for me to move versus him to end his PhD program and move to a different one. So I began applying to jobs in August and I thought it would take a while. It was like last time it took about six months for me to land the right job for me. So I went ahead and started applying to jobs. I started applying to jobs in August and I had two offers in August. So now we're both looking at each other like, what do we do? <laughs> what does this look like for us? Like, do I move there and we live together? Do we not live together? We are waiting. What would living together and waiting even look like? I don't think that God wants us to live together. So it was just so many different thoughts that, that went through our head. Um, should I start looking for new apartments in Georgia? And we spent some time in prayer about it and just felt God saying, go ahead and get married. So that's what we started to figure out how to do. The how part was the interesting part for me anyway. My husband was like always on board with like going to the courthouse. But it was a lot for me to cancel out ideas that I had in my head. And I couldn't understand how it would look for me to have a wedding later if I'm already married. Like if I'm married at the wedding. So I had this idea in my head that I could plan a wedding by myself and make it really small. And I thought I could do it in a month. All that was just a fail, didn't work, started calling vendors. It was just too stressful and I became like frustrated because I didn't want to trouble Christian, my husband, about planning and all of this while he's in school. So I began to pray to God about it and he definitely softened my heart a lot on this topic. And I remember one night I was just praying and I felt God say like, you can have both. You can have the wedding of your dreams and go ahead and get married to the man of your dreams. And I was like, oh, okay then. Like, that sounds exciting. That sounds like a great deal. Like, and I just called Christian in tears like, let's go to the courthouse and let's get married. Cause he's, I told you, he's already on board. So I just want to give you guys like an idea of what the day looked like for us. It was a really, really, really nice day when we went downtown to get married. So it began by Christian flying into North Carolina. And I planned all this, well, we kind of planned it together, but I wanted to make the day really special still. So Christian flew into North Carolina and then we went and got changed and we had an amazing engagement photo shoot because we hadn't taken our engagement photos at this moment. 
So we went and got changed and had our photo shoot. The photographer was amazing and she took photos for us. I'll pop some in so you can kind of see what the day looks like for us. And then like an hour later, we went downtown to get married. I don't know if you guys have taken engagement photos before, but it's such a fun experience. It's, oh my gosh, I can't even like put it into words of how great that morning was when we took those photo shoot, those photos for the photo shoot. And keep in mind, we were like on cloud 100 because we knew that within the next hour we'd be getting married. So it was just so nice. I loved it. It was such a great experience. So we get to the courthouse and we're really excited. We've already taken care of like the paperwork you have to take care of beforehand. I don't remember everything, but we already taken care of a lot of things that we had to do. And then we arrive and we're like, this is really happening. This is happening. Like we're so like over the moon and we also decided not to have family there and it just be us and we were kind of nervous and kind of were back and forth on the fence about that decision but we decided not to do it so that family could just enjoy the moment when we actually had our big wedding later on and it turned out to be really nice the only kicker slightly was that you need two witnesses in north carolina and mind you we didn't have anyone there with us so we kind of knew this going in, but we were like, we'll figure it out. Like, God is telling us to go and do it, so we're here and being obedient and know that it'll work out. So this is just a tidbit or like a reminder that God cares about every single detail. So we get there and we're like, what do we do about witnesses? So there was an older couple there, and we had been talking to them the whole time we were waiting. And their grandkids ended up forgetting their driver's license or something happened where they had to leave. So now it's our turn to go, and we were like, excuse me guys, do you mind being our witnesses? And they were so like, oh, us? <laughs> like, yes, can you please be our witnesses? So everything works out with the witness and we're able to find someone there, like I mentioned, to be our witnesses and it was great. We still are in contact with them. So we get married and we are just so excited. Like we're so excited. I remember walking out the courthouse like, wedding? I don't need a wedding now, like I'm happy. Um, but anyway, so I just wanna tell you guys how the entire day went in the process. That day was really good, it was really smooth. We went on a Friday, so it wasn't like a bunch of people there or anything. So we went there on a Friday morning or a Friday afternoon, and it was really, really nice. Um, afterwards, I still wanted to make it special, so we ended up going to Charlotte, North Carolina, and we stayed in this downtown area. So we got upgraded at our hotel, it was nice like we had this huge outdoor like patio area that was connected to our room where we were overlooking the whole downtown they left like roses and stuff in the room so it was really nice so that was the first night after we got married we went there we went to a nice vegan restaurant downtown as well and then we had to come back to atlanta because christian mind you was in school and had school that monday <laughs> and also homework and stuff to probably get done too so we stayed a night in Atlanta and we stayed downtown, y'all. I've stayed in some pretty nice hotels, but that night it was the nicest hotel ever. Like this is just more evidence of God's favor. Like when he wants something done, it will be done. Cause mind you, these hotels we're staying at, we're not paying for them, we're using points. Like we have points that we had saved. So this night when we stayed in Charlotte, it was a really nice hotel. They upgraded us to a amazing room. But when we went to Atlanta, that hotel was amazing. So we arrive at the hotel and it's really, really nice. So we get there and I had never been there before to that hotel in particular. And Christian had called beforehand. I didn't know he called, but he had called beforehand and told him that we were getting married. We had just got married and we're coming to stay at night at their hotel. They upgraded us to like a $600 room. Y'all, it was, it was such a nice experience. Yes, I wish I had like videos. Maybe if I do, I'll insert it. But it was really, really, really nice. And we were just overlooking the whole city. Um, we really enjoyed that night. They also left balloons and different things in the room for us. So it was so nice. Like, it was so nice. I was like, you know, I really was at this point like wedding. I really don't need a wedding. <laughs> but anyway, so that was our courthouse experience. And I just wanted to walk you guys through what how we still made the day special. And I have no regrets from that day. I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was amazing. 
So we still were thinking um, at this point we'll have a wedding later. We didn't know when, we didn't know how, we didn't have money saved for it, any of this. But we still felt like God was telling us we'll have our wedding later. So we weren't really sure what we were going to do. By this time it's like January and we're like, okay, is this wedding happening or not? So we just took a step of faith and decided to still have the wedding. And we had it in June of the following year. So it was like an eight month difference between the time we got married and the time that we had the actual wedding. Eight or nine months. Um, so the wedding turned out to be so nice. And guys, like this was another thing that God was like, had so much favor over us for. He helped us out in so many ways like these vendors that we had they came through like we were completely honest with them like you know this is what we have to pay you this is what we have in budget what can we get or what can we do and when I tell you we saved probably ten thousand dollars on our wedding and I know that sounds crazy but just from people like giving us this cut or this discount or someone doing something for free like God really looked out and allowed us to have our dream wedding. I'll insert like a photo here and kind of just see a little bit of what it looks like. So the wedding day turned out to be so nice. Like I thoroughly enjoyed it. I have no regrets from getting married at the courthouse and having our wedding later. Um, I would love to share more about what the wedding day was like and how we saved money. If you guys want to hear that, please leave a comment below or like this video just so I know that you guys are enjoying this content. So I just wanted to share this story because I know for me it was really challenging to figure out what it could look like or how I could still make the day special and how I feel having a wedding later. And I'm here to say that for me, everyone's experience is totally different. For me and for my husband, we have no regrets and thoroughly enjoyed it. Okay, so I wanted to share this story just so that if someone is dealing with this, um, trying to go back and forth, well, should I go to the courthouse? Should I not? Should I have my wedding later? Should I not? I just hope like my story helps you guys in some way. I know that everyone has their will have their own story and their own experience and their own desires. But I will say for us, this worked out and was the best thing that we could have done. I'm so glad that we went ahead and got married and then I moved to Georgia and then we have our wedding later. It was, it was honestly a blessing and I'm glad that we were also just obedient during that season and did what we knew that God wanted us to do because so many blessings came from that one act of obedience. So, yeah, I hope that this helped in some way and please like this video and subscribe to my channel to see more content from me. Alright, bye guys. It's right on my mind.